as a systems architect you would face essentially two kinds of systems in fact uh, most systems on at any level any industry are essentially of two kinds uh, what we can term them as being bicycle like systems and frog like systems uh, the key difference between the two is you can take it as one is biological and the other is mechanical uh, but let's get a bit more into detail on that in a bicycle you can replace any single part of it take it apart or replace a pedal or a handbar handlebar or a seat and you can improve it so the overall performance of the cycle can be improved efficiency effectiveness whatever the eventual goal of the bicycle is by replacing any small part component and you can improve the whole system by changing one part uh, also it can be done discreetly now compare that with a frog a frog like system is that the whole thing works together as a seamless whole uh, obviously you're not going to replace parts or do anything of course there is uh, in modern biology and healthcare sciences yes there is replacement of parts and you could uh, do all kinds of things uh, with technology but essentially the original item is the best and any improvement or anything has to be done on the whole system uh, it could be metabolic it could be anywhere so the the very approach to a frog like system is extremely different it has to be holistic uh, it has to be systems thinking it has to be design thinking gestalt principles and a whole lot of uh, other factors uh, which of course you could bring some of those factors into a bicycle system but the key thing is to identify the system that you're uh, approaching and whether it's a frog like system or a bicycle system even before you start uh, touching anything at all so all this happens in the design prototyping before you really uh, get into the system at all so a key aspect of any IT ICT architecture is to identify whether it's a bicycle-like system or a frog-like system before you even get started.